Imagine an airplane that can soar through the sky without using a single drop of fossil fuel, running entirely on renewable energy. This vision is no longer a distant dream, all thanks to the creative work of Maxwell Chikambutso, an inventive thinker from Zimbabwe. For years, Chikambutso has challenged the old ways of generating power, coming up with technologies that push limits. His latest invention, a self-sustaining airplane, could change air travel by using the sun's unlimited energy. Unlike normal planes that burn fuel and release toxic gases, this one moves silently across the skies, causing no harm to the planet. Chikambutso's journey began with a bold but simple idea, what if flying didn't hurt the earth? Growing up in Africa, where power blackouts happen often, he dreamed of a world where movement and clean energy worked together. His earlier inventions, like a unique electric car and a magnetic energy generator, laid the foundation for this major leap in aviation. Today, his self-powered aircraft stands as living proof of what's possible when vision joins hands with green energy. At the heart of this aircraft is a smart energy system that blends solar power with advanced battery storage. The plane's surface, including its wings, is fitted with very efficient solar panels that soak up sunlight even when it's high in the sky. These panels convert sunlight into electricity that runs the aircraft's motors with great efficiency. Any extra energy is saved in lightweight, high-power batteries, allowing the aircraft to fly even at night or when skies are overcast. This smooth mix of solar harvesting and energy storage removes the need for any traditional fuel. The impact of this is massive. Imagine a plane that never needs refueling and costs much less to operate than regular ones. But is it truly usable outside of lab conditions? Early test flights have shown solid performance and reliability. The prototype has already made short and medium distance trips powered only by its renewable setup. Though still in development, the aircraft's current performance shows a real future where flying is both green and more accessible to many. More than just technology, Chikambutso's plane has powerful environmental value. Aviation today causes about 3% of global carbon emissions, a figure that could rise sharply by 2050 if things stay the same. Regular jet engines use kerosene, releasing not only carbon dioxide but also harmful chemicals that speed up climate change. This fuel-free aircraft gives a real solution, no emissions and less noise pollution, especially in crowded regions. For island nations and far-off places, this could be life-changing, making flying possible without needing expensive fuel deliveries. Picture emergency supplies brought in by quiet solar planes, or isolated towns finally connected by flights that don't harm the planet. Chikambutso's work fits perfectly with global goals, like the United Nations target for net-zero emissions by mid-century. But making this the norm won't be simple. Solar panels, though improving, still have limits in how much energy they can gather, which affects how far a plane can fly and how much it can carry. Batteries also must improve, they need to be lighter, stronger, and last longer. Aviation rules made for fuel-run planes must be updated to allow this new way of flying. Some still question whether clean energy alone can handle the demands of commercial flights. But history teaches us that all big changes once faced doubt electric vehicles, smartphones, even the first airplanes. Chikambutso's working prototype proves that this concept is more than just talk. It functions, and it has room to grow. Joining forces with engineers and energy specialists could speed up progress. New solar technologies, like perovskite cells, might soon boost efficiency past 30%, a major win for solar flight. At the same time, solid-state batteries coming soon could offer higher energy storage and faster charging. His aircraft also opens the door to mixed systems, blending solar, wind, or even hydrogen power. As climate change becomes more urgent, both governments and businesses are investing in clean air travel. Chikambutso's design places him at the front of this green movement, guiding a sector ready for transformation. His creation doesn't just change how we fly, it changes how we think about powering the world. This aircraft is more than just a machine, it's a sign of hope in the battle against climate crisis. The idea of flying without fossil fuels is now a real possibility, all because of Chikambutso's tireless creativity. His solar-powered plane marks a huge shift in aviation. But what's needed to make it common? The next move is scaling it up. Turning a prototype into a fleet of planes takes smart design steps. Current versions use lightweight materials like carbon fiber and advanced composites to make up for battery weight. 
Every pound saved adds distance to each flight, making local trips possible. The first major users might be delivery companies, where weight isn't the biggest concern. Picture Amazon or DHL using solar-powered planes to deliver packages in sunny regions. Passenger versions could follow, starting with small planes flying less than 500 miles. Island nations like the Maldives or Hawaii, with short trips and lots of sunlight, could be ideal starting points. These places also suffer from climate change, so they may quickly adopt green flight options. Chikambutso's aircraft might also reshape urban travel, powering air taxis that create no pollution. Vertical takeoff and landing electric aircraft, charged by the sun, could soon fly across city skies. Military uses could also grow, like silent drones for long missions that don't need to refuel. But the biggest difference might be in making flying possible for developing nations. In areas like Africa, where long distances and bad roads slow progress, solar-powered air travel could be a game-changer. Clinics could get medicine by silent, low-cost aircraft. Students in faraway villages might travel to schools hundreds of miles away using daily solar flights. This isn't just about machines, it's about equality, bridging transport gaps with clean power. Still, challenges remain. Solar panels lose efficiency in high heat, which can happen at high altitudes. Batteries also drain faster in cold weather, so smart temperature control systems are needed. Air traffic systems built for fast, fuel-based planes will need to adapt to slower, energy-saving flight routes. Public acceptance is another issue. Some might feel uneasy flying in a quiet plane without engine noise. That's where education comes in, sharing test data and safety results will be crucial. Governments can help by supporting clean aviation startups and updating flight regulations. Agencies like the FAA and ESA are already drafting new rules for electric planes, showing that support is growing. Meanwhile, Chikambutso's team is exploring ways to gather more energy while flying. Possible ideas include collecting wind energy from wingtip vortices or using solar skins that tilt toward the sun. Artificial intelligence might help the plane choose routes with the most sunlight while dodging storms. All of this could lead to smart flying where planes learn and adjust during each trip. Looking ahead, this kind of invention might even help with space missions. NASA is studying solar planes for use on Mars, where fossil fuels don't work. Chikambutso's design could end up helping with interplanetary travel, proving that hard problems lead to brilliant ideas. Back on Earth, the economic effect could be huge. Fuel costs make up over a quarter of airline expenses. If planes run on solar energy, tickets might cost less and flying could become possible for more people. Repairs would also be cheaper, electric motors have fewer parts, so there's less wear and tear. Airlines could save money and use those funds to improve service or add routes. New jobs would also be created in building solar aircraft and supporting clean flight technologies. The global power structure might shift too. Countries that rely heavily on oil exports may have to find new income sources. Innovators like Chikambutso could become leaders of a greener, smarter world. Most importantly, this new kind of flying changes our connection to the sky. It turns the skies from something we pollute into something we protect. Children in the future might never hear the loud roar of engines, only the soft hum of solar planes. Cities could become quieter, with fewer vapor trails and more stars visible at night. The dream that began with the Wright brothers can now evolve into something gentle and full of promise. Chikambutso's solar aircraft is not just a machine that flies. It's a call for a better and fairer future. It offers a cleaner path forward, where progress doesn't mean pollution. As these prototypes move toward daily use, each flight will mean more than just travel, it will show we're ready to fly with care. The question is no longer whether green aviation will take off, but how quickly will help it grow. With time running out for the planet, Chikambutso's vision may be the direction we need. The future sky is quiet, green, and almost here if we're ready to believe and take action.